friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we're going to do casting of my garden flower and few wild flowers i have collected casting is a very simple process through which you can preserve the memory of your favorite plant or your favorite flowers of any occasion so friends do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. Through this casting process, you can cast any greenery of your like, different type of flowers, greeneries, leaves, or even shells or a thumbprint. This technique is very, very simple and easy to do yourself. And we just need two to three different materials to do it. For casting, first of all, we are going to need natural clay. You can use any brand natural clay available. I have used terracotta natural clay from Little Birdie. Next, you are going to need casting powder. So you can either use a casting powder or quick fix white cement or else a POP. That is completely your choice. But my suggestion would be to use the best quality products to get the best finished look. Other than that, you can also use few colors to color your casting and make them look much more natural. Few brushes and a multi-purpose hanger to hang your cast on wall. The list of all these materials will be mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can buy them online. So let's start the video now friends. These are some of the wild vegetations I have freshly collected just before we are going to start pressing them in clay. So here we have some flowers with whale, few red flowers, these are pink. You can collect any wild vegetation you find in your garden or around you. This is how all of them look. I have also got few beans, so these are few wild beans. And now let's start pressing them in clay. Here is the natural clay which I have separated in chunks and now I'm going to give it a very nice mix. Here I have used a little bit of water to mix it, make it more smooth and soft. And now here you can see how easily it gets separated and mixed up in each other. So let's start by making a ball out of it. Now here is my clay ball ready and this is how it is. It's soft and smooth enough to start our project. So now I'm laying it on a clean fill which is a clear foil. And then using my roller, I'm going to roll it flat. You want it to be equal from all the sides. Remember friends, the thickness of clay should be at least one centimeter or more. Okay, so now it is smooth from all the sides. So let's sprinkle some talcum powder all over the clay. Which will really make it smooth and easy for the leaves and flowers to come out. Now these are the flowers I'm going to place. Let's take a measurement of the base we need. Okay, this is it. You should do this step before placing the talcum powder. So I'm making the corrections. This is just perfect. I want this flower to be imprinted. I'll place it right here with the leaves. want the flowers to be down and then leaves on it and then here I also have a few smaller vegetations I place it right here right under this leaf then one here and one right under this leaf now everything is quite settled so using my roller I'll give it a good press starting from one side pressing the leaves make sure this is the last time where you can make any adjustments be very careful and give it a nice press come back and roll and press it this looks very beautiful now using my palette knife I'm going to cut the excess clay and then start separating the excess clay in this way 
That is beautiful. I'm going to uplift the clean fill directly and place it on our base. Now, using a tweezer, I'm going to pick up the flowers and stems being very, very careful. Be very, very gentle doing this part. There are multiple flowers and buds. This was beautiful. Now, okay, very clean. Very, very good. I'll just one by one pick all of these. Now after imprinting on clay, let's start mixing the casting powder. So this is the casting powder I'm going to use. You can also use a quick fix cement. So I'm using a cup for measuring. As the settling time of this casting powder is very quick, so we have to do this as quick as possible. Here I have one cup of casting powder and I'm going to add two cups of water. I'm going to mix distilled water that is purified water with this casting powder and then using a spoon give it a very very nice mix. Okay, the casting ratio for water and the casting powder is 3 parts of casting powder with 2 parts of water. And now here is our casting solution ready and this is how it looks. So let's pour it to the base from one side. Be very gentle. And finally, just give it a nice tap 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 so that all the bubbles will come to the top. And then finally, we will let it rest for at least 2 hours. Though the setting time is just half an hour, but I am just going to let it rest for 2 hours. Now after 2 hours, the casting paste looks like this. It is completely dry, still a bit cold. So now I am going to show you how to remove it. Just hold your tray or the plastic base in this way and start separating it from the casting powder you have placed. Separate it from all the sides, make it loose enough so that you can pop out the POP. Be very gentle with your castings. And then once you feel that all the casting is separated, start pushing it from the bottom. Place four fingers on the base and just start pushing it from the bottom so that it will rise up in this way. Try to push it from all the sides. I'm getting a few cracks. From one side, I'll insert my palette knife and gently try to pull it up. Yes, you can see I have got away. It's quite a bit stuck in the clay, so I have to be very gentle pulling it out. Yes, a lot of clay is stuck in it. So I'll just remove it. You can see here, separate it from the clay and then show you how does it look. Okay. After cleaning the cast, this is how clear, clean and beautiful our cast looks. You can clearly observe the tiny lines which the flower had and the little leaf which is on the stem and the clear structure of the flower was divided in with the stems and the casting has come really really very beautiful and clean. The leaves are also so clearly visible and I just love this wild tiny white flowers. So let's start by coloring and for coloring I'm going to use acrylic colors which are available in this small bottles which are from Fabicryl. Now first of all I'm going to use a light green color in my paintbrush with a lot of water and start coloring the leaves. After coloring the leaves, I'm going to start coloring the flower and for that I have mixed magenta with a little bit of red to get this color. Use less amount of color in your paintbrush and add a lot of water to it. So in the same way, I'll complete doing the detailing color part using the same color and then I'll show you how you can highlight it more. Now after coloring the flower as a red friends, just take a little bit of red, mix it with neon pink and give a highlighting on the top birds you can see which will create a 3D effect and give more dimension to the flower and it will look much more natural. 
For the bottom stems, I have used a little bit of magenta, mix it with water and done the same to, to give it much more a natural look. And finally, this is how it looks. And now friends, let's start coloring the small flowers for which I'm going to use a little bit of white acrylic color, mix a lot of water with it and use paintbrush number 00 and color only that white part. I'm simply going to do tap, tap, tap. For coloring this kind of sculpture, it is really, really easy as the sculpture absorbs all the water. So you just have to do tap, tap, tap and the color and the paint will get absorbed. I just love doing this kind of painting because it is such easy to do. You just have to lay first the base color. For example, I'm using white over here and then I'll use just a little more amount of concentrated white to highlight the top of the flowers. So that gives a natural look. And now I'm directly going to take some white and put just a few dots in this way. And it is done. You can also do a little bit of yellow or pink if you like to color it in some other colors as these tiny wildflowers are available in so many different colors. Now friends, I have finally completed coloring the wildflowers and this is how beautiful it looks as if the complete casting have come to life and the flowers look so so natural that the memory of the real flower is definitely going to last forever. So friends, if you're a plant lover, you do have a hobby of gardening and if you do have favorite plants or flowers, you can preserve their memory in the same way by casting them as I have shown you in this video. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this video. And if you do like my videos, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.